Hi everyone, this is Ben Foggins, Media Corner, back again with a brand new AK Afro Soviet episode for today, which this is going to be on another film that saw that I saw released for this year for 2022. Which this is this film actually came out a couple weeks ago, but I'm here. But today I'm here to give you guys my views on this film. So here we go. Today's review I'm here to talk to you guys about is the 2022 mi mystery film, and that is Death on the Nile. So Death on the Nile. This was directed by Kenneth Frano once again. Who had pre he has done a pre previous work like this before, uh, which was released back in 2017, known as Murder on the Orient Express, which I did enjoy that film. It's a pretty enjoyable watch, although it's not as it's not a masterpiece or anything, but it's a pretty good watch from from for a whodunit film. Um, but that film does have a couple flaws. But even though that film does have a few flaws, but it still is a good watch still. But anyway, so this film is a follow up to that film, in which in this film. We see Kevin Brown's character uh, Pyro returning in this film, which in this time around in this film is that we see him. He's about to spend his uh, relaxing vacation in Egypt, and he aboards on this um, cruise ship, which is known as the Nile. And what happens is he he meets a new cast of characters in this one, like Gal Gadot, Army Hammer, Tom Bateman, Russell Brand, um, Jennifer Saunders, Annette Bening, and. A bunch of other new cast of characters in this one and they are born on the cruise ship as well in which what happens is uh there's been a wedding with gal gadot's character lynette and army hammer's character simon in which they get married and they're about to spend their honeymoon on this um on the cruise ship to egypt but what happens is during the honeymoon the honeymoon unfortunately gets cut short when one of the passengers on this cruise ship gets murdered and of course it's up to pyro to you know, solve the solve this mystery, and of course, you know, trying to fi find out who is the real culprit behind this murder. So, that's pretty much the story of Death on the Nile. So, for Death on the Nile, um, I he I heard this was originally based off a book, but I've never really read the book because I don't really read books per se, because I'm mostly of a movie movie person. But um, for Murder on the Orient Express, um, I didn't see that movie in cinemas when back in cinemas in 2017 when it was originally released in that year. But I did watch it at home before I did see this movie, and um, like I said, I did enjoy that film. Although there are some flaw, there are some flaws with that film. But it's not, it's not like a masterpiece or anything. But it is a good watch, though. And f for this one, I knew some of the new cast of characters who were in this one. You know, Kenneth. Of course, you know you have Kenneth Branagh coming back in this one, who also who he, who he also directs as well, like he did with uh, Murder on the Orient Express. And you've got Gal Gadot in this one, which I'm I'm a big fan of her since I saw her in Wonder Woman. And you've got Army Hammer, which I did think he was a really good actor, but hearing about him, it is really shocking for like what's going what's like what's going on with him on, on the news and all that. If you haven't heard what's going on with him, you can just research about what's going on with him. And for other cast in this one, you've got uh, Russell Brown, which I do think he's a talented comedian. And you've got Annette Benning and um Jennifer Saunders and all that. And you got Tom Bateman, which he actually returns in this one because his character was in Death on, was was actually on Murder on the Orient Express, so he's back in this one for Death on the Nile. And I heard this film was originally scheduled for a 2020 release, but it got delayed numerous times because of the pandemic. I didn't know the actual month. I've forgotten the month when it was originally scheduled for release in 2020, but I know it was originally scheduled for a 2021 release last year in September, but it got delayed again and again. Because of that, because of the pandemic, and then until and then it got delayed again because of the allegations of Army Hammer for what's going on with him and all that, and then the new release date was for February this year, and I was hoping it would stay there because this film was still being waited to be to be, was still waiting to be released already, along with any other films that was that are still waiting to be released this year, still being waiting for waited to be released there from their original twenty twenty release, but it got delayed because of the pandemic, like Morbius and. Um, um top gun maverick so anyway so i went to see this on opening day in february of this year and quite a bit of a packed screening and after seeing uh death on the nile i actually like this one a lot more than murder on the orient express yep you heard me say that i actually like this a lot more than murder orient express i thought this was a really great i thought this was a really good watch um First off, the direction by Brana, it's it's a gorgeous looking film for the whole location shooting of Egypt, like for like the effect, like the sun and all that kind of stuff. It's like the color palette and everything like that. I thought it looked absolutely gorgeous to look at. 
with like the capturing of the pyramids in Egypt and everything else in Egypt, as well as for its costumes. The costumes are great, the beautiful, and the the cruise ship as well. The cruise ship looks looks really great to look at, and I thought Kenneth Branagh did a great job of directing such a beautiful looking film, as well as for its dark moments. There was some surprising some dark moments in this one, which I kind of found them almost a bit this way like it was like almost way way too dark because there are some signs of um blood in this one which i did not which i didn't know which i which i was really surprised with when i was watching this movie and it almost had me that because there are some moments in the film that nearly made me jump out of my seat nearly made me jump out of my seat nearly made me had a heart attack twice <laughs> but anyway but still though i thought kenneth brown did a did a great job for directing a film like this and for the performances, everyone in this film are great. Kenneth Branagh is, of course, great in the film as is as this famous character from Agatha Christie's book series. Uh, he's great. Like he he's still he is, he is still is great. Like he was in Murder on the Orient Express. Gal Gadot, who I thought she did a really good job outside of portraying you know her iconic character in, in DC uh, as Wonder Woman. I thought she was really good in this film. Army Hammer, I thought he was really good in the film. Uh, but for him as a person, I think I might have I think I might have changed my opinion on him. And um, Russell Brown, he was surprisingly really good in this film, and I was surprised to, to see him doing a film like this because I mostly see him doing like stoner films and stuff like that and some family films. But here, he's actually really good in this film. And that betting was really good as well, as well as Tom Bateman and Jennifer Saunders. Everyone was great in the film. And as for the storytelling in the film, I thought the storytelling was pretty well structured enough from its original source material from the book. Um, which I thought Kenneth Branagh did a really great job of all that from the whole build up to the whole murder mystery and all that out after we were introduced to these characters, which I thought for that for that um for that um build up for that one, for the whole introduction for all that, I thought Branagh did a really great job with that as well. And um the writing in the film as well, like for the de the character development for the writing like the writing development for the characters in the film I thought was pretty well developed. Like to understand these characters and they I wouldn't say they're like incredibly memorable or anything like that but I thought they were pretty well developed and there was not a single character in this film that was not was like there was not a single character in this film that was not like well developed or anything like there was not a single one of them like that that was just that you kind of like that like one of them makes you want to like turn off your brain and just makes you want to go to sleep and then you're not not interested with any one of whoever you're not interested with um and but for the but for the, the other writing moments in the film, I thought were pretty decent enough. And for the pacing of the film, I kind of found the pacing to be a bit pretty much a bit wonky, because like the first half of the film, I found it a bit draggy, and there were some other draggy moments in the film. But the film does does pick up, does kind of pick up pretty quick. Does manage to pick up when it does get to um when we do get to see the characters on the cruise ship to Egypt, and then the whole murder happens, and then. The whole solving the mystery plot line as well. I thought that I thought those did manage to pick up pretty well. Out when it, after we get to uh, some moments, I kind of found a bit draggy though. But I wouldn't say they're extremely draggy. That that makes you just it makes you that that will make you just incredibly bored and just makes you want to fall asleep or anything like that. But because I was still getting more invested for like what was going on in the film. But in the end though, Death on the Nile. I had a really good time with this one, and I like this one a lot more than Murder on the Orient Express. This is not. This won't be like obviously a masterpiece or anything like that. Like, oh, this is one of the best films or anything. But it is a really good watch, though, for the for for a mystery who done it film. And if you are a fan of those kind of movies, or if you're a fan of like Agatha Christie novels to movies or anything like that, or if you were a fan of Murder on or in the Orient Express, or if you're a fan of Kenneth Branagh as a director and actor, or any of these stars like Gal Gadot or Russell Brand or anyone like that, this definitely could be a popcorn treat. If it is playing at a local cinema near you, this definitely could be a treat for you, a popcorn treat for you, or just simply a cup of tea for you. I'm going to give Death on the Nile a four out of five. Yeah, but it's a really pretty solid rating for a pretty fun, um, entertaining murder uh, mystery film. And again, I surprisingly like this a lot more than Murder on the Orient, on the Orient Express. And like I said, if it is playing in a local cinema near you, this definitely could be a cup of tea or just a straight up fun popcorn flick. So thank you guys so much for watching for my um, AK After I Saw review on Death on the Nile. And let me know what you think of um, this movie. If you did manage to see this already, did you have a really good time with it or were you very disappointed with this one? So 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews. And as always, this has been Fogans Media Corner signing off.